And welcome back. So your VC box is not working. How do I fix it? What do I do? If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm going to give you guys here all the tips and tricks that you might want um, to set this thing up. So, um, yeah, we're just going to troubleshoot a bunch of stuff. So let's just say your remote is not working. First thing is your remote's not working. You change the batteries and it's still not working. What do I do? The way to reset this thing is you want to hit OK button and the minus, the volume down at the same time. You want to be close to the box, so make sure you hold it, and you're going to see that light blinking. I'm going to hold it real quick just to let it do its thing, and it's going to start blinking. This is running its reset. So once it's off, that means we should be good to go. So let's come over to the device and, and see what it's doing. So there it goes. It says hold OK and minus button. So let's go ahead and try that again. Um, and it, it just re it, it, it noticed that it wasn't connected anymore. So now it's saying like, hey, you're not connected. What'd you do? Why'd you, why'd you mess it up? So that's how you do it. Um, if you are having any issues, come here to memory cleanup. People don't know this, but sometimes when you have too much stuff on this, memory cleanup is a good option to wipe stuff out. So click on this and it'll wipe things off. Okay, um, we're gonna come here to system settings. And this is another important area. I like to go here to device preference and down to storage. Now, right here, it says total space. I have 64 gigs of internal storage. And it tells me here um, how many apps, like I almost have a gig's worth of stuff here, how much cash stuff, miscellaneous. If I'm running really low on stuff, I'm going to want to get rid of things. So let's come here to apps. This is going to tell me everything that I need. So let's go to see all apps. This will show me everything that I have downloaded. So Ida64, Disney Plus, Firefox. I have some pretty basic stuff here. Nothing too much. I'm not really taking a lot of space. So yeah, that's how it runs. Um, the other thing too is this device does have a speed test. So if you are experiencing Wi-Fi issues, click on this thing and it's going to start downloading it. Um, and the lady speed test. I like um, speedtest.net. It's a really good one. I prefer that one a lot better over this one. But this one, um, because it's already built in, you could actually test it and see firsthand directly from the device. I typically do the test on the device and not on my phone. If you're running, let's just say Smarters, you want to run it in Smarters. If you're running the whole box, then do the whole box. So here it is. It's running a test, super easy. As you can see, it's gonna take off. There's, it's asking me for an update. I'm just having it here just to block some of my information. Pretty simple, pretty basic and easy. Um, if it's still running some issues where you're just like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, some of my channels aren't working. Go to contact us. And this is also very, very important to know. Um, some people don't know about this for whatever reason. I'm going to go ahead and hide my face here. So that way, if you guys need to scan the QR code, go for it. The far left one is going to be Telegram. This is, is going to be news, dev updates. So if you want to kind of contact with them, that kind of gives you updates. If you need tech support, though, it's different from Telegram. Tech support is going to be on the far right. That is how you get tech support. The one in the middle is going to be their official website. Bottom right hand corner, you got their email and also their website if you want to punch it in. So very, very easy. Now I'm going to give you guys here a couple steps. If you are, if your device isn't working, if you're just like, you know what, I've, I've already done all these steps and nothing's working. I'm ready to just contact these guys and see what happens. Um, one of the things I recommend is unplug the device, plug it back in and see if that resets it. If it does great. If it doesn't unplug your modem and router and plug it back in and that should fix whatever issues you might have. Um, you have to remember sometimes your ISP does throttle you and a VPN service is really good. So in the description below, I have one of the strongest VPNs out there in the market right now with some of the best securities and some of the fastest features that is out there right now for the cheapest price so i got a pretty good setup with these guys hook it up down there at the bottom you guys will not regret it the two years it's like a dollar 99 a month or something like that and you get three months free and um for two years it's great guys you, you got nothing to lose 30 day money back guarantee so you can test it out too 
um let me know if you guys are having any other issues within this device um yeah those are like some easy troubleshooting steps either with your remote with the device with the buffering um with your with your routers simple let me know in the comment section if there's anything else that you guys want to see and as always you guys take care take care of each other see you guys in the next one